Thank God, or we've had some fantastic <laughs> days this week. We have. This has been great. Uh, true summer lovers unhappy. Uh, Apollo Wagner, back in the day, I remember when July was hot and humid. <laughs> I liked it. That was good. I liked it. Uh, we have r some rain on the radar, but not a lot making it to the ground. The air is very dry, and this has made its way across the state from Minnesota, where they were having heavier rains. Uh, you could be seeing some sprinkles or a very isolated light rain shower embedded in this, but not a lot. Basically, a lot of cloud cover here in Milwaukee at, for the time being. Uh, dew points, the reason for that? not reaching the ground because the air is dry but this also helps make it a little bit more humid in the air so you're gonna start to see these uh, dew points jump up it's higher back off to the west and it gets steamy around here uh, for tomorrow with dew points getting into the upper 60s and that could linger into Sunday as well with the higher dew points temperatures near 80 we do have a slight risk for severe thunderstorms late in the afternoon into the evening tomorrow now there's a chance of rain pretty much starting after midnight tonight throughout the day tomorrow it will not be a washout from morning until about four in the afternoon there'll be showers and thunderstorms around, but they'll be hit and miss. It's after four or five o'clock in the evening uh, when all bets are off. You might want to have a plan B for later in the day. Uh, we, we will have thunderstorms, heavy rains possible, and some of those could become severe storms. Heaviest rain looks to be overnight tomorrow night. Could easily pick up an inch or two of rainfall here in southern Wisconsin. So once again, a good bet for strong storms uh, tomorrow late afternoon to the evening, some of which could become severe. And then another cold front pushes in here Sunday evening. That'll bring a few showers and behind that some cooler weather. Uh, and yes, the polar vortex is back. You're saying, huh? It's July. It, it exists every day of the year up in the Arctic Circle, but it's starting to come down a little bit. And we're going to get a little taste of that with temperatures a good 10 to 20 degrees below normal. Normal is about 80, so we could easily be uh, into the lower 60s for a couple of days next week. The UP stuck in the 50s. Stormy Saturday, especially late in the day and in the evening, and then cool next week. The pick day for next week is Thursday. There are the clouds, maybe just a few sprinkles falling, and that's about it. 75 degrees with that low dew point, low to mid 70s all across southeastern Wisconsin. It has been very comfortable the past few days, but some folks want the humidity and the heat. We're going to get close to 80 this weekend. Uh, but the humidity definitely will be back because of that. Not as chilly tonight will be in the mid 60s with rain developing after midnight on and off again. Rain showers during the day tomorrow. Best chance in the late afternoon and to the evening with high temperatures near 80 degrees. Here's the storm system. So once again tonight late, you'll see those storms develop and then throughout the day off and on tomorrow and then tomorrow night. The heaviest of the rain is likely. 66 tonight, so warmer, more humid, some scattered thunder showers developing after midnight, 77, and storms likely, especially as you go later in the day tomorrow. The 10-day outlook shows 81 on Sunday, 73 on Monday, and 66 on Tuesday. So not, you know, Arctic cold, but not July heat.